In this episode of Plastic Makes Perfect, are men one nip-tuck away from success? 42% of men believe that they would have more success in their careers if they could only change one physical feature. Wishful thinking? Or are men really one plastic surgery away from success? In our hidden camera test, we look at whether Robbie will become less successful when we increase the size of one physical feature. Stay tuned to find out which one. Tips for shoe shines, anybody? Mm. Anybody want a shoe shine? And if changing one physical feature can lead to success, then Dennis's career as a fitness model could skyrocket if he decides to change both his nose and his ears. Fitness modeling is all posing. You have to come off as the best looking guy ever. <laughs> The number of men seeking plastic surgery has increased by over 40% over the last five years. Are men one nip-tuck away from a successful career? I think so. Being pretty never hurts, and I am looking for a new assistant. <laughs> one of the job requirements is shirtlessness. Plastic surgery enables you to have an edge over your useful competitors. So, yeah, I would say definitely. I don't know what nipping and tucking has to do with success. If men want to improve the way they do things in terms of success in their lives, they need to pay some attention to what's inside, not what's outside. The only thing a man is one nip tuck away from is a circumcision. I think that less attractive men who get plastic surgery will probably find they climb to success faster. People underestimate how good you can feel just coming to the gym and working out. Rebecca Rosenblatt is a psychotherapist working in Toronto. What do studies say? Could plastic surgery bring men success in their careers? Studies show that when infants were introduced to strangers, they preferred spending time with those deemed good-looking. In fact, they went as far as to avoid the unattractive strangers. Being unattractive hinders success in many aspects of life. So yes, it is conceivable that some men are just one plastic surgery away from success. In our hidden camera test, we're sending Robbie undercover to find out if changing a single physical feature can really make the difference between failure and success. Robbie's job is to see how much money he can make in one hour shining shoes. Shoe shine, anyone? Shoe shines. How are you doing today? So what are you up to today? You have work? Me too. Will the size of Robbie's tips change when we change the size of his? Hmm. What should it be? Hmm. What would I like to see bigger? His smile. <laughs> I'm, I'm dying alone. Good to go. Your tits. Thank you very much. Okay. I appreciate that. And while we wait to find out what one physical feature Robbie will change... Who's next? Dennis wonders if improving two physical features could give him more success as a competitive fitness model. He's considering plastic surgery to reshape his nose and pin back his ears. Fitness modeling is all posing. You have to come off as the best looking guy ever. So your confidence has to be high, high, high. You have to walk up there. Even if there's someone that has a better body than you, you have to say, you know what? I don't care. I'm the best and that's it. I've always had an issue with the size of my nose and I've also had it broken four or five times. Um, so that's another issue as well. I'm also considering ear surgery. Whenever I look in the mirror, I think they are more out than they really should be. And if the 42% of men who believe that changing one physical feature could bring them more success are correct, who could blame Dennis for wanting to change his nose and his ears? I'm relatively a confident person, but in certain situations, especially doing some modeling, it'll help me definitely walk into a shoot and say, you know what, I'm the way I look is I'm very proud the way I look. And right now, I'm not as proud as I think, think I could be. Board-certified plastic surgeon Dr. Sammy Sluin has been practicing in Toronto for over a decade. Will Dennis become one of the 22% of men who change a physical feature to get an edge in their careers? First of all, when I look at your ears, yeah. I notice that this ear is more protrudent than this one. Yes, I, yeah, one is. The first thing that I'd like to show you is, you see this little fold on the side of my ear? Yeah. When you look at yours in the mirror, okay. See that you don't have that fold. It's not as well defined. Oh yeah, okay, okay. So that fold, that's the first thing. And the second thing 
is the conca, which is the shell, like a shell. Mm -hmm. That's supposed to be almost touching the bone. And why is that even close? And yours isn't even close. Simple thing under general or, or local anesthetic. Okay. We give you some freezing behind the ear. Mm -hmm. We remove a piece of skin. We then fold that cartilage and stitch the conca back to the ear. Okay. Dr. Sluin confirms that Dennis is a good candidate to change at least one physical feature, his ears. So that's the ears. Okay, so that's the ears. Do you have questions about no, that? No, I don't. That's, that's pretty, pretty straightforward. Okay. okay. So the second thing is your nose. While Dr. Sluin checks out Dennis's nose, we check in on Robbie. Our hidden camera test has been underway for one hour. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's gonna be a treat. The result of phase one? Thank you so much. Robbie's raised $54 for his college fund, and he was mobbed by high school girls. How's it going? Spring show up here. How are you doing? It's now it's a whole group here. See, you guys are awesome. In part two of our test, we'll find out if Robbie's tips decrease as we increase the tip of his. It's his nose! You'll have to wait to see it grow. But before we increase the size of Robbie's nose, Dr. Sluin will determine if he can decrease the size of Dennis's nose. When I look at yours from a side profile, you have a pretty straight dorsum, but your tip, which is where this cartilage is here, is very, very thick. Okay. So the ideal would be to remove some of that cartilage mm -hmm. and thin the tip. Dr. Sluin confirms that Dennis is a good candidate for nose reshaping. But will he go through with surgery to change two physical features? In part one of our hidden camera test, Robbie raised $54 in one hour shining shoes. We're about to find out if the size of his tips will change when we change the tip of his nose. What's our expert's prediction? I predict that Robbie is going to have a harder time attracting shoppers to his shoe shine stand when he has an oversized nose. That said, since a bigger nose represents sexual development in young males, women may be attracted at a subliminal level and want to have their shoes shine anyway. I did not know that, although I'm glad I do now. Coming up on Plastic Makes Perfect. Will changing one physical feature make the difference between failure and success for Robbie? Hey, you wanna get your shoe shine? Your shoe shine? Huh? Shoe shining, sir? Nobody wants to play with me. Will Dennis double his success if he changes two physical features? I do have a few concerns about the surgery. Uh, of course, I'm gonna be under, so it's gonna be actually my first major surgery in my life. So that does make me nervous. Previously on Plastic Makes Perfect, Send me to college. In our hidden camera test, we've sent Robbie undercover to find out if changing a single physical feature can make the difference between failure and success. Will the amount of money Robbie can raise shining shoes in one hour change when we change the size of his nose? And we'll find out if changing two physical features can bring Dennis double the success as a professional fitness model. I've always had an issue with the size of my nose. I'm also considering ear surgery. Whenever I look in the mirror, I think they are more out than they really should be. Studies show that 45% of men are dissatisfied with their physiques. I think there is a trend worldwide to having more plastic surgery by men. There's a sense that younger, fitter, healthier looking people are promoted and stay in their jobs longer, so with that feeling, they want to maintain that look. Are men the new women when it comes to an obsession with their looks? Guys have a lot of pressure on them to look good, for sure. They have to have, you know, ripped abs and strong muscles and good hair, and, but I still don't think their pressure is comparable to that of females. It's just, it doesn't come close. Men are definitely the new women when it comes to an obsession with looks. It starts with media. You take a look at muscle magazines promoting fitness, hairless, fat-free bodies. It's the flip side of anorexia. It's called muscle dysmorphia. I have a lot of friends that can be quite vain. Catch them looking in the mirror. Catch myself looking in the mirror every now and again. But I know a lot of women that are way worse, so. I think it's just a sign of advertisers finally targeting men. 
Which is fine by me, it's one less commercial I have to watch and feel bad about my thighs. Since the beauty industry actively creates a desire among women to be young and thin and perfect, they're now actively targeting men to increase their potential market. If men want to be the new women, they should join women in partnership and dump almost all of this stuff. But can one physical feature mean the difference between failure and success? Dennis wonders if changing his nose and his ears can bring him success as a fitness model and turns to his trainer for advice. I'm thinking of uh, getting some surgery done, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah, some, uh, some plastic surgery, yeah. Well, I broke my nose a few times. Yeah. So I'm gonna get my septum done and this kind of shaved down a little bit. And then uh, my ears are done too, actually. Really? To bring them in, yeah. It is a presence on stage, so, you know, you gotta kind of act like you own the world, and, and if if this is something that's gonna give him a, another level of, of confidence, then yeah, I don't see why not. I do have a few concerns about the surgery. Uh, of course, I'm gonna be under, so it's gonna be actually my first major surgery in my life. So that does make me nervous. There's some pros that I see, cons that I see, but yeah. I'm hearing both from, from lots of people, so. Dennis must consider. He will miss one week of work and sacrifice the income. Dennis will also have to stay out of the gym for two weeks. A successful outcome cannot be guaranteed. And there are medical risks. Complications of nose reshaping surgery can include scarring. 1% of patients develop scarring that leaves them unhappy with their surgery. Polybeak. Inadequate reduction of the septum near the tip results in a nose that resembles a parrot's beak. For Dennis, the benefits outweigh the risks. When you're on stage, you've got to be confident. Yeah. Your confidence has to be way up there. Oh, for sure, it's all even if Even if you're really not that cocky, you've got to come off as being a cocky, cocky guy big time. Yeah, for sure. My, my gut feeling says I want to do it. In phase one of our hidden camera test, Robbie raised $54 for his college fund in one hour. Woo! Whatever is in my purse is yours, Robbie. Yeah, uh-huh. In phase two, we'll find out if Robbie is less successful when we change just one physical feature, his nose. What is psychotherapist Rebecca Rosenblatt's prediction? Now that Robbie has a big nose, he'll make less tip money for his college fund. Then again, some women may surprise us by being subliminally attracted to the symbol of sexual development. <laughs> Tips for college people, shining shoes, I'm very good. Man, would you like to? It doesn't take long for a woman to be attracted to Robbie's shoe shine stand. Your parents must be proud of you. Yes, I, I hope they are, I hope they are. No, and then it should be okay. Or is it his big nose? Meanwhile, Dennis has committed to changing two physical features. Surgery to reshape his nose and pin back his ears is a narrow way. My guy friends think that this is just stupid. My girlfriends think that, you know what, if you can do it, go ahead, it's great, it's, it's perfect for you, why not? Men are beginning to internalize the same exterior pressures that women have felt for years. But in, in particular with men, it, it's more about having the perfect male physique and bulking up and having that muscle. Coming up on Plastic Makes Perfect. Will pinning back his ears and decreasing the size of his nose make Dennis more successful? And will increasing the size of Robbie's nose make him less successful? I would like to get the shoes cleaned. Shoe shining? I want your shoes to be clean. Previously on Plastic Makes Perfect. In our hidden camera test, we've sent Robbie undercover to find out if the amount of tips he could make shining shoes would change when we changed the size of his nose. While Dennis hopes that changing two physical features could lead to success as a professional fitness model. Hey, my confidence will be up there a lot more. I want to do it. On average, nearly 300,000 people have their noses reshaped in North America every year. The medical term for a nose job is rhinoplasty. <laughs> That's not saving anyone's feelings, is it? But what if it's true that men are just one plastic surgery away from success? What will our hidden camera test tell us? Thank you very much. In phase one of our test, Robbie raised $54 in one hour. But change a single physical feature? Excuse me, ma'am, would you like your shoes clean? Are you sure? 
Ma'am, would you like to get your shoes shine? No, thank you. Are you sure? I hear that if you have clean shoes, it helps you find your way. With his big nose, Robbie made just $3.75, and only because his one client paid him twice. That's fine, that's fine. Can changing a single physical feature separate men for success? Our test appears to indicate that yes, it can. An ugly truth about beauty. If I were given this nose, um, any money I was given would not be towards a college education. It would be to get this thing chopped off. If you could change one physical feature, what would it be? I wouldn't change anything. I probably wouldn't want as much body hair. I don't like it. It doesn't feel right. Sure, I'd like to be a little more fit, but I know how to get there. It would be my teeth. Uh, we'll just get them crowned up, veneers. I kind of like the look of that and just do it for myself, really. I'm quite happy the way I am, and I'm going to continue that way. Thank you very much. Dennis is about to change two physical features. So I just gotta take some pictures and we'll go over the last sure. other things. Plastic surgeon Dr. Sammy Sluin documents Dennis's nose and ears before taking him to the OR. I'm nervous about seeing the new face that I'm gonna see, because obviously I've been with this face for the last 29 years, so it's gonna be brand new to me. I don't know how I'm gonna react to it, just because it's gonna be totally different. I'm gonna look in the mirror every day for the next little while and see someone totally new. It's gonna be weird, for sure. So we'll let the nurses get you in. All right. And you'll be going in a few seconds. Nice. Surgery begins with Dennis's ears. The cartilage is reshaped, allowing the ear to rest closer to Dennis's head. An incision is made inside Dennis's nose. Once excess cartilage is removed, Dr. Sluin will close the incision. Changing two of Dennis's features took two and a half hours. What does Dr. Sluin think of the surgery? His nose was the most difficult of the two procedures. His ears were quite straightforward. The nose was not in pristine shape like the way it would be normally. Um, as well, he had disrupted some of the cartilage and some of the cartilage had collapsed. Uh, so it was difficult to reposition everything and then, but it wasn't abnormally difficult. It's, this is just one of the difficult kinds of noses that we do. So, hi, Dennis. How you feeling? Pretty good, actually. Yeah, do you yeah. have any pain? Uh, I feel a little stuffy, that's really it. The stuffiness is normal, and yeah. that takes about three months until it completely goes away. Yeah. But everything really went well, and I good. think it looked really good. Good. Coming up on Plastic Makes Perfect, will changing two features double Dennis's success as a professional fitness model? Previously on Plastic Makes Perfect, in our hidden camera test, we sent Robbie undercover to find out if the amount of money he could make shining shoes would decrease when we increased the size of his nose. The answer? Excuse me, sir, would you like your shoe shine? Shiny, shiny shoes. What if I put on a dance? I will dance and shine. Is it because of my nose? Is my nose too big? Robbie went from $54 to $3.75 an hour. Now that I've had this experience, I would definitely have to say if uh, men wanted to change one body part because they thought it would make them more successful, I would have to agree. I can get surgery. 22% of men say they use their personal appearance to get things accomplished on the job. And the use of male grooming products is expected to rise to a value of $37 billion. Damn you for being prettier than me. Damn you! But isn't it good for women that men want to be prettier? Absolutely, and it's about time. Women have been worrying about their chests and tummies long enough. Let men worry about their pecs and abs for a change. I hope so. You know, because then finally we can hold hands as a people and share the constant thoughts of insecurity that drive us to buy product after product without satisfaction. That's harmony. It's been two months since Dennis changed two physical features, his nose and his ears. How's everything going? Good. So let me just take a quick look. Any problems with any of the stitch areas? Uh, absolutely nothing. Are you having any pain or discomfort? A little bit when I sleep, but other than that, nothing really. What do you think of the nose? The nose, I like. Um, I, the, the bridge, I, I can tell it's obviously smaller. Um, the end is still obviously tough, yeah. still, it's still hard. Yeah. 
What you're gonna find is, is that there's probably still some numbness in there. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Well, and what you'll notice is, is that every day, it's gonna get a little bit less. Yep. Great. Great. Dr. Sluin is happy with the results of both procedures. Dennis's nose no longer shows signs of having been broken. And his ears lay flat against his head. But is Dennis happy he changed two physical features? When I look into the mirror, uh, it's, I see a, actually a different person. Uh, a lot of people see a little difference, but not as much as I do. I just see a better looking person. I like what I see. Is success a nip tuck away? Can plastic make perfect? Before, with my fitness modeling, for a lot of my competitions, I was totally confident with the way I looked from my neck down. Now, I have no issue at all. And my confidence is, I think, a lot higher than it was before. Now, actually, for the first time in a long time, I like the way I look.